Okay, so there was this chapter five. Okay, and well, there were a couple of topics. Um, chapter five, uh, section five point six and five point seven. You know, five point six is just three dimensional, right? And uh, you do exactly the same thing, right? Same equations and just you know do it in in three D. That's it, right? And then some moment, okay, just take moment about x, y, and z axis. Okay, and we discussed that before, right? So how to take moment about an axis. Okay, so and um, and the last uh, section, you know, is about constraint and uh, um, being s statically uh, indeterminate. So it's just extra reading for you to do. Okay, so <clears throat> let's review everything we've done so far. Okay, just so that you're ready for exam one. Okay. So we've done particle and rigid body. Okay. For particle statics, there's only one equation. Some forces equal to zero. That's all. It's a vector equation. Okay. So you need to recognize that um, whether the problem is two-dimensional or three-dimensional, okay, and what corner system is most useful. Okay. So if you choose Cartesian coordinate system x, y, z, then you have these three components okay, of this equation. So each of these equations now is a scale equation. Okay, so now you can expand the left-hand side by looking at your free body diagram. Okay, so very important. Free body diagram rules statics analysis. Okay, so got to really start off with free body diagram, and then you apply the equations to your free body diagram. So. The equation is very, very straightforward, and you might need you know a few other things to help you analyze the problem. Vector properties, right? Um, talked about it a lot. Chapter two, geometry, okay? So trigonometry, for example, right? Or similar triangles and things like that, right? And also we talk about dot product, okay? So two vectors dot together. What does that mean, right? So this is quite straightforward, but but this lays the foundation for rigid body, right? Now rigid body now involves rotation or the tendency to rotate. Okay. So <coughs> in order for a rigid body to be in equilibrium, it must satisfy two equations now. Okay, some of forces as well as some of moment. Okay. Some forces just for a particle, right? So we can have three components in three dimensional space, right? And Cartesian space, X, Y, Z. Some moment, okay, must also be satisfied, okay? So some moment, okay, is defined at R cross F. And in three dimensional space, then you can take moment about each of the principal axes, X, Y, Z axis, okay? And here, major difference is moment, right? So we spend a lot of time talking about moments, okay, as well as couples, okay? So, couples, okay? And also a few other, you know, auxiliary things that will help you analyze rigid body problems. Again, vector properties, geometry, cross products now, okay? Because we do a lot of cross product in talking about moments, right? Our cross F. Right, and things like that, as well as couples. Okay, so we'll talk about different kind of couple force systems and how to reduce them. Okay, um, so all these. Okay, there aren't a lot of equations. Okay, not at all. Right, the main equations are just sum of forces and sum of moment for a body. That's all. Right, and how you develop. Okay, and apply these equations to your free body diagram. Well, you're gonna need some of these things, right? And the rest is just pure math. Okay. So, but once again, free body diagrams rule the analysis of statics. Okay. So you must always, always start with free body diagram. Okay. And then right, think about whether it's particle or rigid body. Okay. Whether this rotation. Right, or the tendency to want to rotate or not. If not, then it's 
particle. If so, then it's rigid body, right? And then this develop equations there. Okay? And that's it. These are the, the equations needed and um, um, things like the reaction forces, right? What kind of what kind of reactions exist as soon as support the table, right? Um, that will be given to you, right? And the main equations, what well, you're expected to know them, right? Because these are really the bread and butter is statics, right? So you have to know these by heart, okay? The definition of moment, okay? And couple, for example, right? So you you should know that too, okay? Um, so any other you know extra equation will be given to you, right? Do all the homework. Okay, all the homework assigned to you, you should go through them. Okay, at least try them. Right? Do it yourself first and then bring it to your friends and sit down together and discuss, right? And ask the TA, okay, in class. And in the back of each chapter there's review problems and there's also a little summary also. It'll be good to go through them as well. Alright? So that's it.